Welcome to Storytime, get ready, navigate for quick wisdom of countless stories. Let's dive into the world of knowledge together and explore. Story. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day written by Judith Fjorst. Summary of Story Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day tells the story of a youngster named Alexander who wakes up one day and discovers gum in his hair. For him, the entire day seems to be going wrong. His teacher disapproves of his artwork. His best friend leaves him for someone unhappy. His breakfast porridge has no prize inside, and he even receives blame for accidentally ruining his brother's science project. His misfortune continues throughout the day, including a visit to the dentist, trouble with his mom's shopping and an unsatisfactory birthday celebration for someone else. To get away from his terrible day, Alexander wishes he could go to Australia. Throughout the course of Alexander's day, which is full of disappointments and frustrations, the book sarcastically conveys the essence of a very trying day to which everyone can identify. Alexander's fortitude comes through in spite of the never-ending to-do list demonstrating to readers that even in the worst of times, the story reminds us that bad days are only a part of life's journey and encourages us to find the comedy in trying circumstances. Ultimately, the moving tale Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day teaches strength, perspective, and the fact that bad days pass. But at the end of the day his mother assures him that bad days happen to everyone, even in Australia. This gives Alexander comfort in the knowledge that everyone, everywhere, occasionally has bad days. The book clarifies that bad days are common and may happen from time to time. Alexander learns that despite the passing of difficult times, there is always hope for better days to come. Chapter 1. Sticky Start. Alexander discovers gum matted in his hair when he wakes up in the opening chapter. Everything is slimy and sticky. His attempts to remove it only add to the situation. This gives him an extremely bad start to the day. He is aware that today will be difficult. When Alexander woke up, he felt uneasy. He felt his way up to touch his hair and felt gum stuck in it. It was all amazingly sticky. He tried to take it off but it just made a big mess. Alexander felt nervous and disappointed. He knew that horrible things could still go wrong in the wee hours of the day. It's going to be one of those days he thought to himself. With a heavy heart and a sticky head, Alexander walked the stairs, certain that this was only the beginning of what appeared to be extraordinarily horrible. Horrible no good very poor day. All efforts only made matters more difficult. He had difficulty with the gum and had a lot on his mind. Why were the events of today necessary? Mom did her best to help but she could not get the gum off. Alexander felt angry and frightened all at once. Not only was the tooth affecting him, but he also got an uneasy feeling in the pit of his body because the day had not gone as he had hoped. Alexander lost confidence that the day would turn out well, as each attempt to remove the gum made matters worse. He wanted to simply hit the back button and begin the day again. But he knew this day was going to be difficult from when he looked in the mirror and noticed the twisted mess in his hair. The gum appeared to convey all that Alexander's world was experiencing at the time. He knew that time would not stop to allow him to clean up this mess as he looked at the passing seconds on the clock. Taking a big breath, he identified he had to find a way to enjoy the day, gum and all, ignoring the sticky situation. Chapter 2. Serial Disappointment. Alexander had his usual cereal after the sticky morning fun. However, upon emptying it, there was no prize present. He searched and searched, but the cereal box held nothing exciting. It deepened his feelings of sadness. He recalled how much fun it had been to discover surprises in his cereal, but there was no surprise today. It was as though a speck of happiness disappeared from his morning. Why does everything seem to be going wrong today? Alexander complained. He had no idea that this was only the start of many more depressing events. Alexander thought he would find something unique with every bite of cereal, but it was just regular cereal. His meal was a little more boring than usual because there was no surprise. Though he made an effort to brush it off, 
The missing honor felt like a little disappointment on a generally unsatisfactory day. He had no idea that the greater difficulties that when Alexander had a surprise in store, he could no longer avoid thinking about how much more enjoyable things used to be. He was eating his cereal at that time. Alexander, not expecting to finish his porridge, felt a little down. His morning ceremony appeared to be missing a small bit of happiness. In the hopes that things would go better he hoped he could go back in time and start the day over. However, as time passed, he came to the conclusion that he had to face his next day's serial surprise or not. Alexander attempted to persuade himself that maybe the day could still turn out well even though the award was missing. Perhaps, he thought, the obstacle will be the only hiccup in the journey. He let out an affirming sigh and got ready himself for whatever else the day held. Chapter 3. Friend Fiasco. Alexander could see his best friend, thus school should be fun. He sensed something was off when he arrived. His pal was laughing and joking while hanging out with a new person. Alexander attempted to participate, but it appeared that they were unaware of him. Why this day? Feeling as though his friend had completely forgotten about him, Alexander thought. As the day progressed, Alexander's sense of exclusion persisted. Glancing around, he saw that everyone was enjoying themselves with their pals. It pained nevertheless to be alone. He also wants to spend some good time with his friends. Alexander even discovered an empty seat for lunch, when he usually sat with his pal. His friend was talking with the new friend while seated. In his heart, Alexander knew it was horrible, but he tried not to show it. Feeling less connected than ever he wondered, is this day ever going to get better? Alexander felt a little confused and confused as the school day came to a conclusion. Alexander's best friend was ignorant to how much he missed their time together. Alexander hoped that maybe tomorrow would bring back the fun times he used to enjoy with his friend as he walked home, wishing he could turn back time and start over. Alexander felt ignored as he attempted to speak with his friend and the visitor. It appears that nobody knew about his feeling of separation. He worried if his friend had just become bored with him or if he had done anything wrong. Alexander struggled to comprehend and had severe mental distress. As the bell sounded and Alexander started to walk home from school, he felt a variety of emotions. He was hurt by his friend's obvious failure to understand how much he missed their companionship. Alexander thought that maybe the next day would bring them closer again. For now though, he left the office feeling down and wishing that this trying day would finish soon. Chapter 4. Drawing Disaster. Alexander put a lot of effort into his drawing in art class. He was hoping for excellence. However, the teacher didn't seem impressed when he provided her. Alexander felt helpless when she said that something wasn't quite right. He was unhappy and didn't know why his artwork wasn't up to part. He took another look at the drawing because he wanted to know the what was wrong. He thought that was okay but the teacher didn't share his point of view. He was sad and angry as well. Why am I not able to do anything correctly today? Feeling that nothing was going his way, Alexander thought. As the lesson developed, Alexander couldn't help but feel like he had failed because the teacher was already on to the next student. He wished he could go back and correct the drawing. It got him saying, could it be that today was just one of those days that nothing goes right? Alexander's dissatisfaction continued even after the class was over. Wishing he could figure out what went wrong with his drawing, he loaded away everything he had. As he left the classroom, he wished that hopefully he could try again tomorrow and create something the teacher would be happy with. Alexander couldn't help but feel a little confused as he left the classroom. The teacher didn't appear to think his drawing was as good as he believed it was. He couldn't help but be shocked if he was simply interpreting what she wanted. Alexander made a promise to himself that the next time, he would work much harder to create a drawing that everyone would respect, mixed with confusion and determination. Chapter 5. Science Project Snafu. Alexander accidentally knocked down his brother's carefully arranged scientific project during class. Liquid spilled, tests crashed, and the teacher lost her cool. Not that he meant to blow things up. Alexander felt terrible. 
He made an attempt to make things clearer but the confusion was obvious. Alexander felt terrible about ruining his brother's leadership. He felt much worse when he saw the teacher's displeased face. Why does it seem like everything I touch breaks today? Alexander considered, putting a lot of effort into fighting back his emotions. Alexander came after class to help with cleanup, he was conscious of what he had done and wished he could undo it. The damage was too great to repair. In the hopes that his brother wouldn't be too upset with him, and he considered maybe making it up to him as he left class. Alexander's sorrow continued as he attempted to tidy up the broken pieces and spilled liquids. He was aware of the huge amount of work his brother had put into the project, and now he was accountable for its disorder. Alexander stayed behind a little while longer, attempting to make the necessary corrections, until the bell sounded marking the end of class. He tried but in the end and he was unable to undo his damage because it was already done. Even though it appeared like a simple error and he carried the weight of it as he left the classroom, trying to work things out with his brother, Alexander, feeling quite sorry for himself, left the classroom. Knowing that what he had done had angered his brother as well as the class hurt his heart, Alexander made a self-promise to stay away from similar situations in the future and improve his brother's relationship. Chapter 6. Dental Dilemma. Alexander was moving his fingers nervously in the dentist's waiting area. Seeing the dentist was something he hated since it always made him nervous. His heart raced more quickly upon hearing the sound of drills and other machines. Alexander cautiously coupled the dentist to the chair when it was finally his turn. He blinked at the bright light above, and he was uncomfortable in the chair. Alexander tried to stay calm as the dentist examined his teeth, but he became uncomfortable with the encouragement and prodding. Alexander felt a little embarrassed when the dentist addressed cavities and the need for better brushing. The dentist's remark that he needed a filling was the hardest part. Alexander was crushed. The thought of drilling and a needle frightened him. His bad day seemed to be getting better. Alexander pressed his eyes shut as the process started, making a concerted attempt to ignore the noises and pain. Alexander was relieved when it was over, but his lips felt strange and blank. He was eager for the numbness to end as he left the dentist's office. Even though he didn't enjoy going to the dentist, he understood that conserving his teeth was important even if it was ensuring the most of an already difficult day. Alexander was still uncomfortable after leaving the dentist's clinic. The numbing in his mouth felt odd, and the dental appointment had made his already challenging and draining day more difficult. He wished he could skip over the pain and return to his regular state of mind. While seeing the dentist was never his favorite part of the day and he talked to himself and told himself that taking care of his teeth was crucial. Chapter 7. Shopping Struggles. Alexander thought it would make his day to go shopping with his mother, but everything seemed confused because the store was packed. They looked at the corridors and could not find anything which they needed. Alexander tried to help, but it felt like they were searching for a needle in a pile of grass. His mother was in search of one item when she discovered she needed another, so she had to go back and forth across the store. Alexander became a little angry since it felt like they were going around in circles. Alexander's acceptance became thin as the shopping list continued to get larger. The line at the register was very long. Alexander sighed, looking a little worn out and bitter. Alexander was angry and wanted to leave the busy store because waiting appeared to take forever. He hoped the shopping trip hadn't added to his already difficult day because it felt like another hurdle. Alexander felt tired and happy at the same time when they finally arrived at the checkout. Alexander wished they could get ahead of the huge line, which appeared to go on forever. It just made him feel worse to see the mountains of goods waiting to be scanned. He hoped that once they were out of the store, the day would start to look better and the huge difficulties of shopping would go by. Alexander sighed a sigh of relief as they successfully paid for the items and left the busy supermarket. The tension from the overcrowded aisles seemed to subside a little in the open air. With a quieter atmosphere and a possibility for things to get better, he thought leaving the store would mean the end of the difficult periods for the day. Chapter 8. Birthday Blues. It had been asked to be enjoyable to attend someone else's birthday party, 
But Alexander's experience wasn't very enjoyable. He felt uneasy even though he could see the other children laughing and having fun when he got there. He tried to take part but it looked like everyone was in groups already. Amid the parties, Alexander felt disconnected. The games were also unsuccessful. He continued to lose, which increased his sense of separation. Though on the inside it felt like an earthquake of disappointment, he tried to smile. Alexander thought things would get better when it came time for cake, but he wasn't ready for the cake. He didn't like it and thought it tasted strange. As the celebration continued Alexander began to feel as though he didn't belong. He desired to leave and return to his simpler home. The birthday celebration looked like just another disappointment in a day full of them. Alexander tried to join the games in an attempt to blend in, but it seemed like everyone else lived in another universe. His sense of despair grew with each game loss. It appeared that the day would not improve no matter what he did. He wished for the comfort of spending time with his own friends or acting in his preferred activities. Alexander hoped the cake could make his day even after it arrived. When he bit into it wasn't as good as he had thought. Although it was a little disappointing and seemed like nothing was going according to plan, Alexander wished he could skip the whole day and move back in time. Alexander was still feeling like an outsider as the celebration went on. He felt more and more alone, and the laughter of those around him appeared far away. In silence, he wished the celebration would stop immediately so that maybe the following day could bring better times. Chapter 9. Wishing for Escape Alexander's mind wandered to ideas of escape, overwhelmed by the string of setbacks. With a day that seemed to promise nothing but trouble, he wanted to be anywhere but here. He thought of Australia, that far continents where things may be different. He pictured a location where today's problems wouldn't exist and where the day wouldn't be as difficult. The birthday celebration went on, and Alexander's need to get away got stronger. Dreaming of somewhere so far apart from his everyday hardships, such as Australia, he found himself thinking about the adventures he may have there. It was appealing to think about leaving it all behind, even for a short while. He saw himself going to new locations, making friends, and taking part in exciting activities. The thought of getting away from this difficult day developed from a desire to a comforting notion that provided a means of briefly putting the difficulties behind them. In his mind, Australia was a mystical land where the sun continually shone and he wouldn't have to deal with the never-ending chain of disappointments that made today so difficult. The thought appeared to be a ray of confidence in the middle of his busy day, an inviting thought during a terrible period. Alexander imagined being far from the problems, discovering white sand beaches, getting to know kangaroos, and going on adventurous adventures. His creative mind was drawn to the attraction of a world where things were different, giving a little break from the difficulties that disturbed him much. There were difficulties everywhere he looked, and he hoped he could just teleport there and leave them behind. The birthday celebration went on, and Alexander's need to get away grew stronger. He had a feeling of a traveler trapped in an unpleasant location. Lost in his dreams of a destination far from the tribulations of this dreadful, no good day. He felt a planet away from everyone else who was having a nice time. Chapter 10. Lessons in Tomorrow. Alexander sat in silence as the day came to an end thinking back on the series of difficulties he had encountered. His mother sat with him and gave him an encouraging hug. Tomorrow is a new day, she remarked softly. There are tough days sometimes, even in Australia. Alexander felt an energy of hope come from her words. He came to understand that having unsettling days was normal no matter where you lived. It is important not where you were but the way you overcame challenges. He nodded, aware that things might be different tomorrow. Alexander smiled confidently and concluded that although today had been difficult, tomorrow wouldn't be the same. He knew that uncomfortable days will pass and be succeeded by brighter ones. Feeling a little lighter, he kissed his mother and thanked her for her advice. Alexander wished in a hopeful whisper that tomorrow would be a better day as he went to bed. He closed his eyes, hoping that perhaps just maybe, the difficulties of today would turn into lessons for a better tomorrow, and the sun would shine a little bit brighter.
Alexander turned to the idea that there might be new opportunities tomorrow and went to bed. These were the times that gave him strength and comfort. Alexander's worries disappeared as he felt the warmth of the night surrounding him. In his chamber being alone, he sensed a sensation of peace growing within him. He closed his eyes ready to welcome the possibility of a fresh start that awaited him in the morning. Key Learnings During his trying day, Alexander learned that challenges are a part of life no matter where one is. He discovered that everyone experiences bad days sometimes and that it's okay to do so. Importantly, he realized that it all boils down to how one approaches these trying situations. Even though he faced a lot of challenges and failures today, he knew that tomorrow would offer him the chance to start fresh. It taught him about determination and offered him hope that, although an awful day, a better one is always possible in the future. Through his experiences, Alexander also learned the importance of finding comfort and encouragement during trying times. He learned that even on the hardest days, there are moments of love and understanding that give strength and hope, directing him in the direction of a better tomorrow. This understanding came from both his mother's comfort and his quiet times of observation. 